When we're using the SUMIFS function, what are the different types of criteria that you can put into the criteria argument? Or the parallel function COUNTIFS, what can we put there? Here are a few of the things we can put into the criteria argument. We can put a cell reference. We can hard code the value in. We can use a cell joined with an operator. Or we can use an array. Now, if our goal is to add sales for the quad, we already entered in all the numbers. We also already entered in, for criteria range 1, all the products. So if our goal is to add for quad, we're simply going to type quad into a cell put a label at the top, and click on the cell with our condition or criteria. Why do we have to use a cell reference rather than typing the name of the product there? Because it's easy to change later. So if I close parentheses and Enter, well, it looks like if we were manually doing this, some ifs went through this column, found all the quads, and added up all the parallel numbers. If we come up here and change this, to a different product when I hit Enter, that instantly updates. The next type of criteria or condition we can put into a formula is hard coding a value. Our goal is to count how many sales in criteria 1 range, comma, are less than 0. In double quotes, we put our comparative operator and our number, and double quotes. Now wait a second. Over here, we used a cell reference. But here, we're typing our condition or criteria right into the formula because it's never going to change. This is called Excel's golden rule. If a formula input can change, put it in a cell and label it, and refer to it in a formula with the cell reference, which is what we did here. But this is never going to change. Also, very important about count ifs and sum ifs and other if functions like average ifs. When you're using a comparative operator, these functions expect comparative operator to be in double quotes. Now we can close this off, and when I hit Enter, there's exactly two, one and two. Now in both of these examples, we had one single condition. We're allowed to do an AND logical test, which means I need to look through all the sales and find all of the numbers that are between 500 and 1,000. Now it's very important, 500 is going to be included in this count, but not 1,000. And since these numbers can change, we're definitely not going to hard code them in like we did up here. So how do we put the comparative operator in the formula and refer to a cell reference? Here's how. Count ifs. Well, the first criteria range is going to be the numbers, comma. Criteria 1, we'll do the lower limit first. Remember double quotes around any comparative operator. And now we have to join it using Shift 7. That's the ampersand. That allows us to join things together. And there you go. I'm joining my comparative operator with the cell reference. If you select criteria 1 and hit the evaluation key F9, you could see it looks just like this condition up here. And that's exactly what count ifs and some ifs need. Now, we cannot leave this hard coded because this can change. I want the ability to change that and have my result update. Control Z, we're not going to leave it hard coded. Comma, well, we have an upper limit too, so we need to repeat the same exact range, comma, and this time just less than in double quotes, and we'll join it to our upper limit close parentheses. And when I enter, I get a count of 6. If I change the lower limit to 850, just like that, my formula updates. Now, you might have noticed that both these labels up here change when I change the condition. It's not part of this video. But you can download the workbook and look at the text formula that is there. Now, the last thing we want to look at is how to enter an array into a formula. Sum ifs, we'll use sum ifs. That means we need to put the numbers that we're potentially adding, all the numbers, comma, criteria range 1. Well, we're actually looking for quad or Carlota. But both of those exist in a single column. So I enter that criteria range 1, comma. And then in criteria 1, 
I'm going to put both cell references. Yes, I'm going to put both cell references. Now, that is an array of items entered into criteria one. Anytime you enter more than one item into the criteria argument, that instructs whatever the function is, sum ifs, count ifs, or whatever, to spit out multiple answers. We gave it quad and Carlota, so sum ifs will deliver two answers, total sum for quad and total sum for Carlota. Close parentheses. Now, I can't enter this formula because it's delivering two answers. But I can hit the evaluation key, F9. And sure enough, look at that. It's delivering the total for quad and the total for Carlota. Control Z. Now, my goal is to add. And when we have an array calculation like that, the function we use that works in every version of Excel for adding the result of an array calculation is sum product. So we simply put that inside of sum product. Now, the sum ifs does the two conditional calculations, and then the sum product simply adds the result. And there is our formula. So in this video, we saw how to enter an array of items into the criteria argument. We saw how to join a comparative operator and a cell reference. We saw that it's OK to hard code a value when that value will not change. And we started it off by seeing how to not violate Excel's golden rule and use a cell reference.